Hi, Vibers! I am Mindy and I'm living intentionally. I am blowing bubbles in the snow. So I woke up and I thought about Joan and Vasquez and I was like, hmm, that could bode well. But then again, if I get what I want, are we in hell or are we in heaven? I think we might be in hell. But what I detected was a dramatic, significant shift in dimensional frequency. Uh, so like, did we ascend? Did we descend? Are we closer to heaven? Closer to hell? Is chaos about to ensue? I don't know. But I had a really good day. Um, Jonan did address his public today. And uh, I'm also planning a Chiefs Super Bowl party. I am planning a Super Bowl party. Are you like, what? Like, we're li <laughs> like, as the day goes on, we need a little bit closer to hell, don't we? Oh, yeah. And um, my, my bestie boy's... Uh, bank account got hacked and drained so like that's not good either but I mean all I did was like sense it you know right <sighs> got that six cents sit got that six cents six six cents that's hard to say that's I say it a lot, too, in the, the bars I wrote for that, I say it a lot. My hearse makes, like, a really good stand. Like, the, the casket door in the back of it is open and the phone's just sitting on it. Um, I don't know if it's a contest. Uh, best earmuffs, but I'm definitely winning with my gigantic pink earmuffs. They're so big. They're so big. They're so big and awesome. I love them. And I've got, I've got paws. Woo. They're fingerless and my metallic gloves are not very good. They, uh, can I put this on over? I don't know if that's gonna work, but it's cold. Oh. Hi. Am I? I don't know if I'm warmer now. It doesn't want to come on over my hat. Here, let's 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 see if my hat or my. Actually, oh my god, oh my god, this smells so good. Fuck, I think this is Lexi's hat. Fuck. Well, it's my hat now. I have one like just like that that I thrifted. I got like a really nice. My hat, that is not my hat, but my hat that looks just like that, I got from a thrift store, like, brand new, really nice knit hat for a couple bucks. It was, like, such a steal. But that one smells way too good to be mine, because my hair is filthy, like, most of the time. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie, ever. Oh well. Yeah. You can't like operate a phone and have warm fingers. It just like you don't get to do it. But I wish I had like little thingies at least. I don't know. Maybe that wouldn't even maybe it wouldn't even make a difference. I don't know. I was just uh I was just talking to somebody. Well, I mean I was like saying something online because someone someone like like the algorithm of the internet was like, hey, you wanna see this because like I just like legit like talked about how like adamantly opposed I am to treating transgender identified minors, children and teens with chemicals and body modification surgery. Like that's like so wrong and like I like personally know how wrong that is because I totally would have done that if I was a kid growing up now and it would have been a big mistake. And I would have had to live with that mistake for the rest of my life. And like that, like, like, how do you undo that trauma? I think that's trauma for another lifetime, right? But anyway, so that, 
So it like came up, it was like, hey, you want to watch this? And it was somebody who had, who had transitioned, lived seamlessly, like absolutely passing um, at a young age. And then was like, oh, no, I had sexual trauma and I didn't like my body. Now I've lost weight. I have um, a place in community. I know what I want to do with my life. Like, I do not... I do not need to be a different gender anymore is what is what this person had to say what she had to say but like her voice is fucked man like sorry I mean like I don't know but like it's <laughs> like it's not it's fine it's whatever but like like if I'm resting like and not like trying you know to like speak my, my like my my lazy like my lazy like I don't give a fuck voice sounds a lot like a guy like 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 this like I sound like this and I sound like this. <laughs> and that's why and that and that's why I can do the like like both ends of the spectrum. And I'm like all right. Should I do it? Should I spit it? I don't know if I can. I haven't even done it for a long time. Like I was like like spitting my bars regularly so I would know them. But I haven't been doing that. So how does that how does that go? It's like what I don't even remember. This is this is like on the spot. This is how it this is how it is. You got to get over this if you want to fly. Okay. Um My name's Mindy. Mindy motherfucking what? Have you met me? You don't know. Ha! Yeah, call me Mindy Melee because I'm chaos on the scene. I got mad wordplay. You can't follow. I don't say it to be mean. If conversation was a battle, I'd be wheeled in a mace. I spit truth. Sorry, not sorry. I'm in your face. Sorry, not sorry. I'm in your face. Sorry, not sorry. Not sorry. Not sorry. Not sorry. Not sorry. I'm in your face. So, yeah. That wasn't like, that wasn't like a very good delivery. I'm just, I'm just so proud that I remembered it at all. Uh, Oh my god, yes. I'm just so proud I remembered it all. I got Glitch here with me. You guys know Glitch from my gram, right? My capsule chicks Glitch. She goes with me everywhere. She's like super durable. I love bubbles. It's, it's really entertaining, too, because the bubble's, like, trying to, like, survive in the battle of the snow. It's, like, it's drama, you know? Like, remember, like, the drama of, like, the raindrops, like, racing down the window when you're, like, a kid in the car? Like, there's drama everywhere if you want to perceive the drama. And there's drama nowhere if you don't want to perceive the drama. And if you don't want bad karma or karma, period, then, like, step outside the drama, please. But, uh, oh my god, like, it's, there was this event that I was wanting to go to, it's choking me a little, there was this event that I wanted to go to, and, um, like, it's, uh, in, in, in its intense effort to be inclusive and diverse, it's like, it's so non-conforming that it's become conforming? Which is like, man, I just like do not subscribe to any of this shit. Like, like we are art. I am art. I am art. We are art. And there is no limit to what you can do with art. So like, I don't care what culture put it out there. I don't care what color your skin was when you introduced it to the world. It doesn't fucking matter who it came from. We share everything. Everything. There is not a thought you ever have that I haven't also had. You just don't realize it because your brains would be broke if you did. Broke! <laughs> so, it's really annoying. And, um, like, I totally wanted to go to this. And I wouldn't have been allowed in this event because I wear a thing right there. It's, like, not like a bindi. I don't call it a bindi. Mindy, don't call it a bindi. I just have my, you know, appreciation of my third eye. Like, that's not the only culture that gets to appreciate their third eye. That's bullshit. Like, oh my god. Like, there's very few things that I get pissed off about. And it's cultural appropriation, misappropriation, and the whole, like, race bullshit. And it is the uh, transgender, gender identity labels, gay. Like, oh, I just am. I am. That's it.
It's so frustrating. So like, I can't go to this event looking like how I want to look. And a friend of mine, like the person I would most want to go with can't go because her hair is not in compliance with the no appropriate acro cultural appropriation thing. So it's just like, oh my God. Like, so now, so now we're trying so hard that, that like in, in our oppression, in their oppression, I mean, I'm like, I'm not apart from this though. Like, like literally I fit in nowhere. I am an alien. I am an alien. I, like, there is no, <laughs> like, oh my god, it's just, like, crazy. The, in, in their oppression, they are now becoming the oppressors, perpetuating the cycle of abuse, like, oh man, like, I had to come out here and, like, talk at you today, because there is stuff to talk about, there's stuff going on, and it's very frustrating for me very frustrating for me um but yeah that um the the silver lining of that happening is that I actually got to talk to this person that I like really want to be friends with but like we're not really out of the acquaintance stage because I'm sick and people are busy because they're adults <laughs> so that sucks but uh yeah like I feel like I feel like I see her and she sees me in a way that that does not happen <laughs> um, as far as like how I present 